Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd go over some uh, tweaking tips uh, if you're using the LXDE desktop. Now, I really enjoy using the LXDE desktop. This is Antergos loaded with uh, XFCE during the install, and then I installed LXDE on top of it, and that's what I'm running here. Now, <clears throat> LXDE is based on uh, OpenBox, uh, not as easy to tweak as XFCE and some of the other desktop environments. Nevertheless, there are a few things that uh, can make this desktop a lot easier, more user-friendly. Um, so I thought I'd go over some of those with you today. Now, <clears throat> some of the obvious ones... Um, for the panel height, if you right click on the panel and you go to panel settings, there you can change the height, um, the width, the icon size. So for example, I have it on the panel height at 32 and the icon size at 30, but you can, if you prefer smaller icons, you can cycle those down. Uh, you can change the panel position to the top, left, right. You can align left, center, right. So you can do a lot of things with this uh, panel configuration utility. For appearance, I have it in a solid color. Um, and it's just a matter of clicking on here and then click the little eyedropper there, a little paint. Uh, dropper and you can change the background or the color of the panel and you can uh, use opacity so if you uh, want to change so if I click OK you can see the panel opacity changed and you can go back and you can change that and click OK so you can have a lot of control over the panel. Um, you can go with the system theme. Whatever theme you're using, it will conform to whatever the, the theme requires. And you can use a custom color on the fonts, and you can change the font size. Now for panel applets, <clears throat> you can add any of these to the to the uh, the panel and that brings up my next oh and you can set your file manager <clears throat> so you can have a lot of control over the panel this is pretty easy to access panel preferences if I close that out now when you install typically with LXDE you'll have a couple of applications if you want to add more items to that, um, it's not as easy to do or is not as intuitive as XFCE. Matter of fact, when you go into the menu, in XFCE you can right click and say add to panel. That's not the case with LXDE. If I right click, I can add it to the desktop, but there's no item to add to the panel. So I'll go ahead and show you how to add that to the panel. So what you want to do is right click on your existing um, launcher. Now mine is the file manager. You might have something else there. But if you right click on it and you go to application launch bar settings, it'll bring up this window. As you can see, the launchers that are in my panel are on the left here. I only have the one. If I want to add more, all I have to do is come to the right. For example, if I want to add Chromium, and I click on Chromium and I add it, as you can see, it's added it to the panel. You can go back and add whatever it is that you would like. So if I want to add um, Leaf Pad, If I want to add a calculator, uh, let's see, anything that you use 
frequently would be a candidate to add to your panel. If you wanted to add an image viewer, so you can add those to your panel very easily using the launch bar. Now, if you don't have any icons or any uh, launchers in your panel currently, then you'll need to add you'll need to add the launch bar and all you'll do is right click add remove panel items application launch bar and add that make sure you if you want it on the left like this you'll need to do your right click on the left and then you'll add that and then you'll follow the directions that I had by adding applications to that launch bar. So that's how you would go at, go about adding applications to your launch bar or to your panel. Now if I click on the file manager this one's not so easy to get at but if I click on the file manager you'll see that the window opened in the center that's not normally the case with the default configuration of LXDE. So in order to open new windows in the center, most of your other desktop environments have a menu item where you can go in and select that. But LXDE, I haven't found any menu item that will accomplish that. So if you want your windows to open in the center of your screen, this is what you'll need to do. You'll need to open a file. Now you're going to have to, and I have the instructions here. I'll put these in the in the show notes. But what you'll have to do is open your file manager. Make sure you have show hidden enabled. You're going to go to Config, Open Box, and LXDE-RC XML. Now you're going to right click that file and open it with whatever text editor you're using. I happen to use LeafPad. If I open that in LeafPad, what you want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom your file will look like this more than likely and what you want to do is add this code just above the next to the last line so you want to do it right above this applications line so if I put my cursor on that arrow <clears throat> that's where you want to add it so you'll copy and paste right there and that will enable you to have your windows open in the center of the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and save that so as you can see all of my windows open in the center <coughs> And that's the way I like it. Now, if you don't like it like that, then of course don't do this. But that's what you'll that's what you'll add into your uh, open box configuration file. And I'll put this in, into the show notes. The other thing you'll want to do is install OBCONF. Uh, let's see. O-B-C-O-N-F. Yeah, it is. And I've already got it installed. So you'll want to, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put no because I have it. But you'll want to install O-B-C-O-N-F. And what that'll do is it'll add this menu item to your preferences. Open box configuration manager. Once you open that, it'll give you access to your themes, appearance, windows, move and resize, mouse, desktops, margins, dock. Now once you have that, 
<clears throat> you'll want to install open box themes and let's see yeah so you'll want to install sudo pacman s open box themes that will add many more themes to that menu to that con uh, obconf so that'll that'll give you access to many more open box themes and if i open my open box configuration manager you'll see that i have a lot more themes than normally comes with the default so you'll have lots of themes available to theme your LXDE desktop now as far as auto starting if you want to auto auto start a program then it's not quite as easy as XFCE but it is very easy click on your menu go to preferences and go to default applications for LX session within that you will see auto start now of course you can select your uh, your core applications these are your defaults you can you can change those I leave them the way they are the default but you can change those <clears throat> but for auto start this is very handy because you can set up whatever programs you want to start when you boot up I've got Compton running I had to add that one manually anything that you want to start for example if you move this panel to the top and you put a dock let's say you install plank well you want plank to start up when you start the machine so you would add after you install plank you would add plank that's how you get programs to auto start on on reboot or on when you log in when you re-log in so I'm gonna take plank out because I'm not using it but that is your auto start and I think that was all that I wanted to cover today the only thing I did that I didn't cover and I have it covered in another video <clears throat> is infinality fonts I did install infinality fonts the fonts look much much better especially on open windows um, the titles all of the fonts look much much better after installing infinality I've got a video on that for infinality installing infinality uh, in Arch Linux so if you uh, do a search on that you'll find that video and I would suggest that you go ahead and install those it's very easy but it really really makes a difference as far as the uh, the appearance the look of your desktop so guys that is it for this video I hope you uh, learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Take care.